Hi, my name is Hannah from the Stark County District Library. Today we are going to be going over Cricut crafting. This is going to be a great introductory video for those of you who have recently purchased a Cricut and are new to it, or for someone who is considering buying a Cricut but haven't yet decided if you want to go for it or not. For those of you who don't have a Cricut at home, never fear, stick with me. Once we have our makerspace open at the main library, you can make an appointment, bring in your materials, and use one of the Cricut machines that we have at the library. For those of you who don't know what a Cricut is, it's essentially a DIY cutting machine that allows you to cut projects with a lot more precision than you'd be able to do by hand. Sure, you could definitely trace out your projects and cut it, but this is going to provide you with a lot more precision and it's going to make it a lot quicker as well. The Cricut can cut a lot of different materials, from cardstock to vinyl to leather. It can also complete a lot of different projects. You can do cards, you can do a custom t-shirt with your logo. Right now I'm working on making a mobile for our nursery, so there are a lot of things you can do with this machine. There are three different machines currently on the market. Today we are going to be using the Cricut Explore Air 2. But the other models are the Cricut Maker, which is going to be a little bit higher in price, but it has a lot more cutting power. So if you're going to be using it on a daily basis or for projects that are thicker and denser, then you probably want to invest in the Cricut Maker. If you need something that's smaller and can be used for smaller projects, then you can look into the Cricut Joy, which is Cricut's portable machine. It's a lot smaller than this one. It doesn't use any mats, and it makes it really simple to cut things out like a card. So today we are going to be working with the Cricut Explorer Air 2. So first I want to go over what is going to come with your machine. Of course you're going to receive your Cricut. Right here you're going to get the light grip mat that you use for cutting. It also comes with your power cable, a USB connector so you can connect your machine to your computer. It comes with your fine point blade and its housing and then you're also going to get a pen to complete your projects. So let's go to the machine itself. One of the things that you need to know when you're using your Cricut machine is the control panel, which is right over here. These three buttons are going to be found on both the air and the maker. This one right here with the double arrow is your load button. It is going to pull your mat into the machine for the cutting process. The Cricut C right here is your go button, which is going to start your machine. And then right here we have your pause button. One of the things I like most about the Air 2 is the smart dial right here. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to pick your material really quickly. So if you're working with vinyl, you just turn your dial to vinyl. Your machine is going to adjust the amount of pressure that it applies to your project depending on the density of the material. Now, the smart dial only has the most commonly used materials. So if you find your materials not there, all you have to do is move your dial to custom, and then that will allow you to pick your material from the Cricut Design Studio. That's actually going to be the case with most of our models. So the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Joy, you're going to have to pick your materials from the Cricut Design Studio. And then the ever important power button. So next, after we get this on, we're going to open up the machine. So the open button is right over here. And then not many people are going to be using this part, but you have this rectangle right here, which if you have an older Cricut model and you used cartridges with it, you can actually use that to input it into the machine. We also have some storage areas on the Cricut, which I really enjoy. So you have a storage cup up here, but you also have these really convenient storage areas right here. There are a lot of different accessories you can use with the Cricut. They're very small, they're very easy to lose, so it's really nice to be able to stick your materials into the storage areas. You'll notice in the smaller, there is a magnetic bar right here. So the blade and the housing can actually be separated and interchanged. These little blades are really easy to lose, so you can actually put these onto the magnetic bar to keep track of them. So the next thing we are going to be going over is max. I already said before that your Cricut is going to, become to, going to come with this light grip blue mat. 
but there are a lot of different maps to choose from and in my experience it's really important that you choose the correct one. The blue light grip mat should be used for lighter materials like cardstock, but we also have the green standard grip mat which should be used for medium weight materials like vinyl. And then we also have the purple strong grip mat that should be used for denser materials like mat board or faux leather. I have found it's really important to pick the correct mat. When I first pulled my Cricut Maker out, I was excited to be making earrings using faux leather. So I used the light grip mat that came with my machine and tried to stick a piece of leather on it. The thing is, is it doesn't have the proper adhesion to hold the project still and it went all over the place. Alternatively, if you took the strong grip mat and you put something like cardstock on it, good luck getting your project off of the mat after the cutting process. Most likely you're going to end up ripping your project. So the next thing we're going to be going over is how to put your material onto your mat. So one thing you should know about your mat is that these are going to be used multiple times over. They're not a one use product. What Cricut does is they put this plastic layer over top the adhesion on your mat and you wanna put that aside so you can use it later so you can put it back on top of your mat later. That's going to ensure that your mat lasts a lot longer. So we're going to put this down here. And once you become more familiar with the Cricut Design Studio, you're going to notice that the grid on your mat actually mimics the grid on which you're going to design your project on the Design Studio. So we're just going to take a piece of cardstock, and how this works is you just line it up with the corner, and you're going to press it down. Now cardstock is really easy to get onto this mat, but when you're working with a trickier material, especially vinyl, you wanna make sure you really press it down flat so you don't have any bubbles. So the next thing we're going to do is, I told you about the guides that are on the track. We're going to put the mat like that, and then we're going to click the load button, and that pulls it up into the machine. So next what I wanna go over is I wanna go over the carriage because that's really important. You would have noticed there that this little thing moved along the mat. So this carriage has two different clamps. And as I said before, there are a lot of different accessories you can use with your Cricut. Today I'm going to demonstrate just using a black marker. Clamp A holds your accessories. It's going to hold your pens, it's going to hold your stylus, anything that's not a blade is going to go into clamp A. You'll notice that there's a little lever right there. You're just going to click that open. And one thing you wanna remember when you're inserting your accessory is you wanna press down until you hear a clicking sound. So listen closely. Did you hear that click? That means you're good to go. And then you wanna take your lever and just close that back to put it in place. So the second clamp is for your blades. And as I said before, there are a lot of different blades to choose from but how you put it into clamp B is it's all the same. So we have this blade right here. We open the lever, we're going to set our blade into place, and we're just going to clamp it closed. That makes it really easy on you. Now that we're done talking about the carriage, I wanna move on to a different component of the machine. So you might be asking how you can connect your Cricut to your computer. So you're actually going to use your USB connector, which works very much like a printer connector. So this is the USB part that you're going to connect into your computer. And then this portion right here is going to go into the back of your machine right here. Um, something to keep in mind is that this machine, the Air 2 and the Maker are Bluetooth enabled. However, not all computers are going to be. So if, if your computer doesn't have that Bluetooth capability, you can always rely on your USB to connect your computer to your machine. So finally I'm going to be wrapping this up. Um, the only other thing that you should know is that you do have your power cable which is right here and that is going to connect in the back of your machine right where we connected the USB cable. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you join me for future videos so we can learn how to use the Cricut Design Studio and how to complete a project. Have a nice day.